what's up guys welcome back to the channel if you're new here please consider smashing on that subscribe button and to my returning subscribers hello hi welcome back right so guys this link was sent to me via my email and the title is the finish station using a robot to fill up cars the title is a bit catchy and i told myself i was definitely going to check this out with you guys so you're heading straight to finland i really love to know the station that uses robots to fill car stress-free that's a clear definition of stress-free anyways let's check this out don't forget to like the video and share the video i'm so sure you want to see this let's check this out oh please guys confirm how true this is petroplast has come over to helsinki finland to visit the only site in the world that has a automated automated refueling arm we're here with a jonas founder and ceo of autofuel jonas um when did this project begin with neste to implement the robotic fueling arm yeah we we began the project in uh, late 2018 where we installed oh. the second generation of the autofuel system then it was running for around two years testing mm -hmm. uh, and improving we got a lot of uh, good experience uh, on that system then uh, we had the chance to step back to review our results and uh, we found out that we wanted to develop a third generation which we then implemented uh, exactly one year ago has been running now for, for one year at the station we are still in the testing phase but we are in the end of the testing phase so we are now in in, in that end where we have a stabilized uh, system we can see it's working we can take in cars every day uh, so we are very close to a commercialization of uh, the system you have now the possibility as a fuel reseller to give customer back their time instead of link them to the nozzle but if you just look a few years ahead, then you will see uh, self-driven uh, mobility, and then we are going and it's stress from convenience you don't, and you nice need to have waters. to something you need to have. Mm -hmm. So I definitely see uh, a large uh, potential in, uh, in this, and uh, we are both building uh, a convenient technology for today's user, but we are also building infrastructure for tomorrow's uh, autonomous driving. When the, a car is arriving to the system, we will uh, see the number plate with the camera, as you see, just below the traffic light over there. And uh, that's the first thing that happens. This is then a great invention, you know. If the car is in the system, if it is so that the car is in the system, then the second thing that will happen is that we will start positioning the car with the camera placed in the blue panels. That camera will detect the wheel of the car and follow the wheel while the car is moving and that's where you can see on the screen that the car is placed in a, in a box when the box turns green then your car is positioned at the right place what wow. happens after we have positioned the car and know that it is now uh, placed in the correct position is that we will um, recognize where the fuel door is located for that we use the camera inside this tool here so we take some pictures of the side of the car and then we can see where the fuel cap or the fuel door is located oh, this is surprising to the fuel me door. Um, then we uh, simply grab the nozzle and the robot knows from the user profile what kind of nozzle we need to use so if you have uh, chosen diesel or gasoline or a special oh, product wow. then um, then we know it so uh, then we grab the nozzle and place it uh, in the in the fuel cap. So when the robot is uh, the robot will always fill up the car or to the amount you have chosen in your user profile. And then it clicks, it senses the click in the nozzle. Uh, you know when you are refueling your car yourself, it will always click when the, the, the tank is full. So uh, we can sense that, and when it does that we uh, simply just replace the nozzle in the dispenser yeah i would say that the, the arm is completely safe Pretty so we brilliant. have no sharp edges only round corners it moves uh, quite slowly uh, that's uh, regulated by law in different countries 
so we are not able to, to harm anyone and it is sensing if somebody is touching the arm so it will stop immediately if it uh, touches something so we don't have any accidents and we don't need any separate safety system to operate the, the system. I think the customers Beautiful. are expecting more and more smooth and convenient customer experience at the station so technology will help there and the robotic arm is a good example of the existing technology that can make the customer experience nice and easy at the station. And I think it's very important as we are living in a very changing marketing in a, uh, environment. So with the innovations, uh, constant innovations, we are ready to, to be there and, and meet the customer expectations also in the future. Currently we are testing it uh, with the test group in our pilot station and the pl plan is to open it to a public test group uh, later this year. Guys, this is extremely beautiful. This is the first time I'm seeing a fuel station using a robot to attend to customers. Like, trust me, this is the first time I'm seeing this. And I'm super surprised, you know. But anyways, I feel like it's stress-free and that particular fuel station will not be needing like um, workers or something. So it's just so easy. We'd love to know what you think about this in the comment section. Do you think um, this particular innovation is actually good? And do you think it will help? I just feel like um, people will not be able to get jobs. People who are supposed to get jobs, who are supposed to get paid for working, will not be able to do that, you know. Um, that's my thought, though. But anyways, this was actually beautiful. And this is the first time I'm seeing this. Let me know your thoughts, guys, in the comment section. And I'll see you guys in my next video.